Hi, I'm Sean. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips about things you should do to your house for the winter. As winter approaches, there are some things you need to get handled on your house to prevent some major problems. As it gets to be colder and colder and we get more and more snow. First thing, make sure you remove your garden hoses from the outside of your house. It's uh, one of the biggest things that can cause pipe freezes. If there's water that's uh, still sitting in those hoses and also in the hose bib, it can freeze and that freeze can crawl back inside the wall of your house and burst the pipe. Hundreds if not thousands of dollars in damage can be caused. So remove the hoses. If they're the frost proof newer style hose bibs that shut off the water behind the wall of your house, that's great. If they're not, there should be a secondary shut off somewhere that you can turn and, and drain those out to prevent freezing. Exterior wise, you should get your inspect and clean your gutters. The falls, when all the leaves fall on your roof and get into the gutters, that can cause a, a problem. Driveway. If you haven't marked your driveway yet, and you normally do, and we get eight inches of snow, you might not know where your sidewalks are, your or your garden beds, or your front sidewalk. So good idea to get some driveway markers in. So interior wise, this is, and I've preached this before in videos, but one of the leading causes of house fires is your dryer vent being filled up with lint. Plus your clothes don't dry as well anyway. So there's a company that I use and that I recommend, Dirty Ducks, D-U-C-T-S, Dirty Ducks, in Madison here, that'll come out real quickly and pull all the lint out of your system and vacuum it out, reducing your chance of having a, a house fire from, from lint. If you have a fireplace, if it's a gas fireplace, you should have that serviced annually to make sure it's running efficiently and safely. If you have a wood-fired fireplace, it's a good idea to have your chimney swept or at least inspected to make sure that everything's fine and you don't have a chimney fire. Your HVAC system, your furnace, ideally you should be having that inspected at least once annually. If you can time it right in the summer when you're using your air conditioning system, if you have the AC and the furnace, both scheduled at the same time. I know the company I use, uh, Ferro Heating, give you a little bit of a break if you do them both at once. It's only one trip charge. It's less expensive, but if you haven't had that done recently, probably a good idea to have your furnace inspected to make sure it's gonna work when it's 20 below. Something I'm gonna do right after I get done shooting this video is go and replace my furnace filter because it, it's, it's time. When I mark my driveway, I replace the furnace filter. When I start my AC up in the spring or in the summer, um, I replace the filter. I have a six month filter for my furnace. If you have high, low air, cold air return vents, there's one that has a little switch at the bottom. If you have one up by the near the ceiling and one on the floor, you should be sucking in the cold air from the floor this time of year during the heating season. In the summer, when you're, when you're cooling the air, you have that bottom one closed, so that is, it's pulling the warm air from the ceiling and cooling it. So good idea to make sure those are, are set up correctly. If you have a ceiling fan or ceiling fans, what's recommended for those is there is a switch that reverses which way the ceiling fan turns. It's recommended at least that you blow that upwards and push the hot air down along the walls of a room. So by all means, this isn't an all-inclusive list of things you should do to prepare your house for winter. But the final thing that I can think of is it's a good time to check your smoke detectors, test them, make sure that they're working, and test and replace any batteries if you need to. Same goes for your carbon monoxide detectors. And then if you're feeling very, very ambitious, there's a bonus item, and that's your GFCI outlets that are near water in your kitchen, the exterior of your home have a little test button. There's some writing on there. I can't read it anymore without glasses, but it says you should be testing these every, it's either 30 or 90 days, pressing the reset button and resetting them to keep them being able to move and, and uh, trip if necessary. Otherwise they just fuse in the on position. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. If you need any help buying or selling a house or condo or vacant land, please give me a call. Thanks for watching our video. Have a happy holiday season. Talk to you soon.